Meet Seth Aiken, the one-week job guy, next. CapeCast. Hey folks, speaking of job openings, CapeCast caught up with one-week job guy Seth Aiken yesterday at Sweet Tomatoes Pizza in Osterville. Aiken, a recent college grad, is traveling the world, trying out jobs like the rest of us try on shoes. Okay, we're here at Sweet Tomatoes in Osterville, legendary pizza joint here on Cape Cod with a man who's like an astronaut of employment, traveling the continent, searching for the right job, for a job. Sean Aiken joins us. Sean, uh, you're one of the guys behind OneWeekJob.com. What is going on with your life right now? Uh, it's been a little. It's been a little crazy. Yeah. So I started the website uh, OneWeekJob.com. Uh, basically, the idea is that any individual or company anywhere in the world can offer me a job for one week. And so what I've been doing is doing a different job each week uh, for the past 37 weeks, um, exploring all these different professions and learning a bit more about you know what I'm looking for in a career and, and what kind of profession that I want to get into. And what kind of things have you done so far? I've done all sorts of things. So I've had anything count from uh, one week as a veterinarian. I've been a florist, a yoga instructor, a radio DJ, advertising executive, uh, right, right across the board. It's kind of funny because you know one week I'll be wearing a suit and tie to work, and then you know the next week I could be knee high in, in a swamp. You know. Then we're gonna put Mr. Aiken to a test. I'm sure he's been a veterinarian, spaying and neutering kangaroos in Australia, spacewalks and uh, surgery. I don't know what else. But now he has to make the dastardly difficult Mediterranean pizza. Let's see if he's up to the challenge. Showing some confidence and some forearm strength there. Aiken moving, bobbing, weaving. Down goes Frazier. The moment of truth arrives. Mr. Aiken, he's got it. Aiken's got it in his hands. He's going for the throw. He's tossing it correctly. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. The crowd is on its feet. It's never been seen. A rank amateur tossing sweet tomatoes dough here in Osterville. Say, Irene, how did you get involved in all this, inviting a stranger to work in your pizza place and letting him stay at your house? <laughs> well, I was, I was um, actually uh, hanging out in bed one Sunday morning, and I was watching CNN, and he was on CNN being interviewed, and I thought, this guy is just too cool. This is way too cool. So I emailed him right away. He emailed me right back. I said, anytime you want to come and hang out with us, we'd love to have you. Does he really know anything about how to make a pizza? Not really, but he fakes it really well. Oh, that's looking good. Sean, how would you feel out there today? Felt pretty good. Felt pretty strong. Uh, you know, a little coming up in halftime. I was getting a little worried. You know, the anchovies were flying left and right. right. You know, I had spinach coming at me from behind. I just thought, you know what, Sean, buckle down. You can do this, you know. And uh, that's when I looked to the tomato sauce for support. Catch up with Sean's adventures at OneWeekJob.com.